It is four in the morning and Abby's gonna go to school after this. 4.33 and my flight's at six. So excited, yay! Last words. Um, I love you and you need to come for Christmas. That false. I cannot <laughs> come for Christmas. to put all my stuff away last night so they're all tucked away in the drawers and cabinets and stuff. I just came back from scavenging for food because I had like no food um, here. Uh, I managed to find some, some dumplings. This is my first meal that I'm cooking at the apartment. I have a really big pot and <laughs> it's not even that serious, it's just some dumplings that I got at 7-Eleven. I don't have a rice cooker yet, so I'm just gonna eat it like that. Hopefully it tastes good. But, so I've been traveling for like two days, Friday and Saturday. It was a 16-hour uh, flight, plus five-hour layover in Chicago, and then a four-hour bus ride to my city from Incheon. Um, I'm surprised I survived it pretty well. <laughs> I thought I'd go crazy or something, <laughs> so much traveling, but it wasn't too bad. On the airplane, I watched like three and a half movies. Yeah, um, so that helped, but I was jealous of the people who didn't have anybody sitting next to them. They were able to lie down and stuff. They looked so comfortable. Uh, yeah, it was hard trying to fall asleep on the airplane. So when I arrived at Incheon, there was supposed to be someone who had a sign with my name on it. And when I got there, I was like, uh, there's like a bunch of signs with people's names on it. And I couldn't find my name. So I was like, oh man, where's that person? Hope, and like we're not missing each other. Um, I was waiting for about... I think almost an hour, and I decided to call my recruiting agency to ask, like, um, you know, where the guy is at. And they had said that he wasn't there yet, so at least I didn't miss him. Um, so while I was waiting at the airport, there was, like, a bunch of girls and guys with their cameras, and uh, they were all waiting at um, the gate uh, door where people from, would come out of the, um, who arrived. I was like... And like from time to time, I'd see like a bunch of them like running really fast and I guess kind of screaming like, I guess it's like someone famous that they're just stalking. <laughs> I didn't really see who it was, but I just saw like mobs running. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Man, everyone at the airport, they look good. Like girls all dressed nicely and stuff like that. It's, like I kind of, I kind of felt like a scrub because like oh, I was wearing... You know, I've been traveling for two days, feeling janky, and I'm pretty sure I smell them. Oh my gosh. Um, and my hair looking like a hot mess. <laughs> so I was like, oh gosh, please don't judge me guys right now. But um, thankfully, being Asian, I don't really stand out that much. I was able to blend in well. Um, so oh, finally the guy gets there with my name, and... He, I thought he would be driving me to my city, but I guess it would be far to drive back and forth. It would be eight hours for the person. So actually, he got me a bus ticket. Um, and originally, he said seven. And I was like, seven hours? I was like, oh my gosh, I've been traveling. It was so long. I have seven more hours to go. But it was actually miscommunication. Um, what he meant was it left at seven o'clock. And the travel times only four hours. Now I only say 
four hours, only four hours because, you know, after the 16 hour flight, four hours is nothing. Um, it wasn't too bad. Um, the bus seat was pretty comfortable, and then when I get to the Suncheon station, the school manager picked me up, and she was really nice. So she drove me to the apartment, she showed me where the school was, which is like one block away from my apartment. I was like super happy. Like I knew it was like a minute or two away, but I don't know how close it was, so that'll be fun. The walk is pretty easy, and it's a really cute neighborhood where I'm at. Um, I'm probably going to do an apartment tour once I <laughs> furnish it up a bit more. It's kind of empty right now. Well, the living area. The room is pretty nice and cozy. Um, so, yes, I made it. I can't believe I made it. I can't believe I'm vlogging. Um, well, praise God. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to send out more videos to update you on my life here. And, um, yeah, I gotta get to these dumplings. I wonder, hopefully they taste good. Mmm, I have that. Mmm, it's really good. Hey, about to have some lunch.